Woken one, Barnet one. That was quite the advert for the National League. Dean, what's your thoughts after that? Obviously, we've got a lot to thank Laurie for. Um, it's our first half for the first 25 minutes that we were outstanding and didn't um, score, didn't score enough goals. Obviously, to, we should have a stronger lead. I thought they sort of changed the system slightly, went to sort of a diamond. Um, in around the 25th minute, and they they were good for 10 minutes. I thought Woken, and then obviously they started the second half really well. Pulled away. Obviously Brownies managed to get inside and drop his shoulder and bend it in the far corner. I thought it was a poor goal to give away. And second half really we hung on and we got we got thank glory obviously for the point we've gained today. But but the main thing for us is I would have took a point before the game. Um, that's important. And what I would say is just that it's a big learning curve for us tonight for some of our players that come off the bench, apart from Woodsy. Um, Dom Revan and that, they need to grub the, grub the pace quick. You know, he's come on, he's just too sloppy, he's give away a penalty. I think the first one's definitely a penalty. I think the second one's never, ever, ever, ever been a penalty in a million years. Um, I actually think it's a foul the other way, but look, it was, no, it was the only point in talking about the referee, really. Um, you know, referee, myself and Darren both spoke to the referee at half time. And uh, I made a conscious decision, I let the officials know that we're not going to speak to them at all second half because I felt the game was getting overheated was getting overheated on the bench. But I think the referee, in my opinion, let us down today. He let himself down, really. Rubbish performance. Um, crazy. But yeah, it is what it is. Good drama. There was quite a feisty first half as well. A few yellow cards being dished out. Did you send a message to your players to try and make sure that nothing happened in that second half? Yeah, we, I watched the referee at the weekend, Elliot. Let the game breed, let the game flow. I thought he had a good performance by him and I've watched the referee tonight not let the game breed. Like it's toward place against fifth place in the National League. Like we're both vying for spots in the playoffs, you know? And uh, he just never let it breed at all. Just getting his cards out so quick. And uh, there's going to be tackles. It's been raining all day. The pitch is wet. It's ridiculous, you know what I mean? So, like, like I said to him there at the end, and he's booked me for it. I said to him at the end, there's a reason you're not in the EFL and you've been at this level for the last four or five years. That's the reason. It was a really good, strong performance in the first half uh, for the Bees. What, what's, what do you think sort of happened in the second half? Well, they changed our system. Um, obviously, we can't play wins too long. Um, we tried to counter that. To be fair to Woken, they were the better side second half. We've got to give credit where credit's due. Um, they looked a little bit tired, a little bit heavy. Um, I know they made some changes from the weekend. Um, we probably missed Smith, really, to play off Smith today. He's a big player for us. Danny, obviously, forced came back, so he's had to come to 90. We were just sloppy, like I say, um, just not good enough second half. And to be fair to them, they asked good questions of us. And we did obviously we come up with the answers because Laurie's had a couple of saves to make. But um, all in all, look, we'll take the point, we'll respect the point and just move on to the next game. That's what we have to do. And the next game, quite a big one for this football club, FA Trophy semi-final. How will the next day look for the squad? Lads will have tomorrow off. Um, we're going to stay up there for the weekend. We've got York on Monday. Every game is big for us now. Everything that point there today is, that could be priceless. Uh, come eight games time, uh, eight league games time, that could be priceless for us. So um, yeah, it's a big game, and uh, we give ourselves an opportunity, ourselves and Gateshead, and we we'll go toe to toe. And uh, it's a good opportunity for both teams, really. I know they've won, won well tonight. I think they're a very good side, Gateshead. And um, we drew with them twice in the league campaign. So you need a little bit of luck in the cup. You don't need officials giving away, giving penalties to Hastings tonight, willy nilly. And, uh, and us feeling like we didn't get the fouls we deserved. Um, so we need a little bit of luck in the cup, but you've got to earn luck in life. And uh, the good old saying, God always does justice at times. And uh, tonight I think he did that with Laurie's two penalty saves. Dean, thank you for your time.